Okay, you're back on with me. The next thing, of course, is your tree spikes. Now, the easiest way to figure this out, when you're putting these spikes on, stand them both up beside each other. This way you won't wear them different, you know, because sometimes you can put them on backwards and never even realize it. But the bigger part should face whichever side that you're going to climb. So that's the left, that's the right. That way you'll know how to put them on each time. And again, you don't have to have them super tight, but you know you want them just tight enough to where they'll fit. To be kind of, you know, that's the top part. And same way here. And what I find with wearing tree spikes is the bigger your sock, like if you wear it's like like here, I just have pants, and I have somewhat of a thick sock, but it don't go all the way up on my leg. But if you have like chainsaw pants on, it's better. Or a lot, like you can wear like, if you, in the wintertime when you're wearing long johns and socks, it really helps protect your legs a lot better when you're wearing your spikes like this. You see those are flying. Middle of the day, ain't that crazy, y'all? But it really will help you. And of course, you take this one, go in around there like that, Kind of work it in there like that, and then you pull that through. Oh, there we go. Got it like that. Okay, so once you have your spikes on, they look kind of like that right there, you know, make sure you can walk around in them, they ain't going to be too crazy. Now some spikes are, if you notice on mine, I have them, this, or they don't hit the ground actually, which is good. Um, some spikes are a little longer, some gaffs, they actually protrude past this, so you wouldn't want to put the spikes on until last, so right before you walk up the tree, before you do the rest, like I'm about to do. But I'm going to take these back off, but I want to show you how to do that. Again, that's how they'll look. And make sure you can, you know, make sure they feel good. And then taking them off, just the reverse of what you did. When you're using tree spikes, again, a lot of guys, um, you know, for your first time, and this is just a little drill, you use it at your own risk, and you gotta understand that this just helps you to gain balance. Now I'm using this tree, this tree is already deemed to be taken down, I'm clearing out this land for a customer. Um, a lot of these little tree limbs, tree limb, trees on the on this line are coming down. So it's the only reason I'm spiking it. Otherwise, I could climb without spikes, but this is just to show you guys. So I'm using this tree here because it's the lean is leaning toward the fence here. Um, but a lot of guys, when you climb, you want to climb against the lean because you want your body to be straight up instead of going backwards. So yes. For guys starting out, I like to put them, when I first put them in a pair of spikes, this is what I do. I tell them to wrap their hands around the tree, both hands. Take your left spike, go in, kick it in hard, and your right, and probably go about two or three times. So, two more times. Be quiet, please. You go up two or three more times, and then that kind of helps you to, to get a feel for these things, you know. Help you get a feel. You know, you're not going anywhere. A lot of guys, they scared of falling and gaffing out, as they call it. But, you should be fine. So, again, you just take your hands. That kind of gets you used to it. All right. 
And that kind of gets you used to, again, getting your balance. And you want to be standing straight up. Because if the tree's leaning like this, you're going to be going backwards. Like, see how I'm trying to, I'm going to have to keep my weight backwards like this to counterbalance. So, what I simply do is go up against the lean. So you stand up straight. And you're walking up straight. Ah. If you happen to let off one hand, that's why you do what I'm about to show you next. Put your lanyards on. One is good for climbing. If you're going to be cutting, put two around it. So for this one, we only really need one. Not going to be doing any cutting. So. You got to make sure you got enough slack to go backwards. You don't want to be too close to the tree. Trying to climb it straight up. You got people who do that. Uh, just can't get nowhere. Can't get nowhere. Uh, hey, Mama. Get some slack out of there. Somewhere you can throw it up. Take your step. Throw it up. Take some steps. And you don't have to spike a bunch of times like I'm showing you here. You don't have to do, 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 do. Take steps just like if you're walking. Just like if you walk. I mean, it's just that simple. Start on the ground, left foot before the right foot, right foot before the left. So we go left, right, throw your lanyard up, left, right, lanyard, left, right, left, right, and before long, you're out of the picture. Coming back down, right, left. Drop it, right, left, right, left, and take your time, because you can go up here pretty fast if you try, I mean everybody can get pretty fast, after a while you've been doing this for some time, you're up there, but you don't need that. You don't have to be fast. Just say. Thing. So practice the dead tree, how to mess around, put yourselves in scenarios that you'll be you're on a limb up there, the tree, or whatever, you know, yourself all the way out, see what it's like to have to adjust yourself, practice, you know, get used to whatever you're going to do. Or if you fall, here's what a lot of people are scared of. So if I fall, that's about what you'll do. Right there. That's why you want to be so close. One more time. Here's what happens. So if you miss one, you're down. So, bigger trees, you probably won't go far. You'll probably just end up gaffing out and being stuck. But little trees, Oh, you're going down. Okay. That's just a little bit more in there. Like that. Get your balance. 